can hear the rains down in Africa. Can you hear the rain? I can hear the rain. Hello everyone, I'm Monica and this is my channel Money Reads where I talk about books and things. And today I bring you a tag that is all about things. Aside from aside, aside, aside from books that I really enjoy. This is a tag that was originally created, I have it down here, by the Book Buds. Um, I will link them up here and down below so you can follow them. They have a wonderful channel. And I was tagged by my sister from another Mrs. Miss Jessie over at the Bookish Mom. I adore Jessie. Kisses to you and thank you for tagging me. This is a tag all about things outside of the book realm <laughs> that I really enjoy. So I thought I would put this up like a little, I'm, I'm, can you hear the rain? It never rains here. <laughs> but I thought I would put this up as like an extra video, you know, cause yeah, I'm wearing my Star Wars shirt and I was feeling like, you know, making a little video and I know that I only post twice a week so this will be a third video, just an extra so that you can get to know a little bit about me, you know what I mean? So here we go, let's go with the questions. Number one is, what is something that you own way too many of other than books? I'm not sure, because here's the thing. I am actually quite a minimalist when it comes to things. Um, I used to be completely off the rails with shopping and makeup and clothes and, and homewares, but then there came a point in my life where I was just like, I have everything I need, so I don't know. Let's ask my husband, Rodrigo. I have to, I have to uh, ask you something. This is my husband. I only have one of those at a time. Okay, I'm gonna ask him in Spanish and then he's gonna try to answer in English or he's gonna answer in Spanish and then I'm gonna translate. Okay, la pregunta es, ¿qué es algo aparte de libros? Lo cual tengo demasiado o colecciono o, o algo que tengo de más. De más. Sí, o sea, algo que tengo mucho, mucho de eso. O sea, porque obviamente tengo muchos libros, pero... Es que de más tampoco tienes mucho. Yeah, he says the same thing I said. He's like, you don't really own like a lot of things outside of books. But... Sería, si acaso, últimamente compras más ropa o maquillaje, pero no tienes como de más. He says exactly the same thing I said. He says like, well, so, you know, you do have a lot of clothes and a lot of makeup, but you don't buy a lot of it. You know, I did buy quite a bit of clothes after I um, my body changed during the pandemic, but in general, I don't own a lot of things, right? Right. I'm kind of a minimalist. Yes, more or less. Yes, except with books. No. No? With... with. <laughs> no minimalism with books. No minimalism with books. Can you give me a kiss? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go now. So there you go, you heard it. I don't really own a lot of things. I, I do own a lot of clothes, but it's because, again, my body changed during the pandemic, so I needed to buy new clothes. But in general, I just don't um, buy a lot of stuff. I, I, I'm pretty minimalistic in that way. I, I thought, I think people might say like video games, but I, I don't. I play the same video games over and over and over again. So that was a long winded answer. <laughs> All right, let's go to question number two. What is something that you do for fun that's not reading a book? Okay, again, you might think video games, but I actually don't play a lot of video games anymore. I used to when I had a, uh, an Xbox, but now we have a computer and usually Rodrigo is playing a video game, so I don't really play video games a lot. And I don't know, the weather here is just not nice for video gaming. <laughs> it's either too hot or too cold. So um, what I do do is I play this game. It's, it's a role play. It's a role playing game. We've been playing for 15 years, my best friend Charlene and I, um, we play a Star Wars character. There is hail outside. Literal balls of, of, of fucking ice are falling down. It's August. It's August. <laughs> but anyway, let's just say that it ought to be ambience. Um, yeah, so I role play and basically what we do is we, we're writing a story. So um, she writes a paragraph of what her character does and then, and, and you know, anything around that might be important for me to reply to and then I do the same thing. And we've been doing this for 15 years and that's, if I'm not reading, that's probably what I'm doing and that makes me about the least cool person on this platform. And I know. I also role play like 
tabletop roleplay like D&D, but I mostly do Vampire the Masquerade. And I do play the video game every now and then, the odd video game. Um, I mostly play Bioshock and I like to play um, horror survivor games. All right, question number three. Number three, number three. <laughs> number three. What is something special or important on your nightstand that's not a book? My meds. <laughs> Um, you have seen them in the back of my videos of, of my vlogs before. I think that they're like the most special, important thing on my nightstand. I, I like to keep my nightstand very empty um, because I'm, I'm naturally a messy person. So the less shit I have, the more organized I am. So um, I think my meds count because meds are important. If you're not feeling well, if you're not taking care of your mental health, remember taking meds and accepting help is the best thing that you can do for yourself. Number four, what's something that you buy at a bookstore other than books? Again, I don't buy a lot of things. I, I, my house is very small and I am very happy with the way it is. I'm happy how it's decorated. I'm happy with the things we have. Sometimes we'll buy the odd um, board game and stuff like that, but mostly nothing. I don't buy nothing. <laughs> I don't buy nothing. <laughs> I don't buy anything at, vid at video game stores, at bookstores that is not books. I would like, this is something, it's really coming down. This is something on my wish list. <laughs> Can you even hear me? I can't even shoot because we have like such a small section of, it's balls of ice this big. Oh my God. Anyway, I'm on the search for a tote bag. I really want a tote bag, a cool tote bag, and I would like to buy more coffee mugs, but we don't have space. I have never seen a storm this big in my life here in Madrid. What in the climate change? I, I'll see if you can hear me when I edit this video. Number five. What's a fun gift that you received that wasn't a book or a gift card for books? Um, Rodrigo gave me all of the Bioshock games and I had originally played Bioshock, I had finished all the trilogy and I had to leave my Xbox in Venezuela and it was very sad and he bought me all of the games. Also, he also got me an engagement ring. I think that was really fun and exciting. That was, that was a great thing. <laughs> Number six, what's a YouTube channel that you watch that's not related to books? My girl, Bailey Therian. <laughs> I love true crime and I, I, I originally was studying to become a crime psychologist, like a criminal psychologist. So I love true crime and I love talking about true crime and hearing people talk about true crime. And Bailey Therian is probably like the most fun and her personality kind of reminds me a little bit of my personality, which is like the most narcissistic thing I can say. But she's cool. She's cool. She's into dark shit, just like I am. <laughs> and yeah, I love crime stuff. So uh, I watch Bailey Syrian. Um, I watch. I don't watch much else. Oh, I watch. What's oh? What's her name? Charlie Ann. I'll insert her channel up here. If you're going through ED recovery, she is incredible. She's going through it. She's doing it. And she's just so comforting to watch. She's like a Ghibli, Ghibli movie in real life. So, um, love those two channels. And the last one is tag five booktubers that you want to learn more about. So, numero uno, I'm going to tag my girl Lena at Sufficiently Advanced Lena. Number two, I'm going to tag... Angela at the Literary Science Alliance. Number three, I'm gonna tag Ramsey over at Rajathon. Number four, I'm gonna tag Shanice over at Shanice Noel. Hi Shanice, love your channel, you know that. <laughs> and number five, I'm gonna tag Rachel over at the Shades of Orange because I don't think she has done anything like this. So, I'm gonna see if this video footage is even usable with the freaking hailstorm that we just got. And well, I hope that you enjoyed it and that you enjoyed learning a little bit more about me. And if you have any questions about me, leave them down below and I might just answer you. And yes, I do have an octopus on my arm. <laughs> I just realized that I keep like flailing. This is why I, I do jump cuts, because I keep flailing my arms all over the place. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching. And without any further ado, I leave you with a friendly reminder that I 
love each and every one of you. <laughs> and that I will see you in another galaxy far, far away.